Welcome back to more Life is Strange before the storm. I hope you guys can hear my audio because apparently now it's like not even in the, the air, the yellow. But gaming sometimes has some odd audio when it comes to it. It's like so loud. So I don't really have it and I don't have the music on so the music doesn't go up. We already seen this cutscene, so I could always cut this out. Because um what happened was um I like to end it where it's the beginning of a new area because if you are in the middle of the area then well you won't be able to do you you would have to restart the area. It makes more sense just to start hey, from where we're at. It's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. I guess. That blows. Well, shit. Oh, that that changed your, that was your uh, ideas. You of what you were to do. Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Okay. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are Don't axe, don't fell. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. All right, so. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Alright. Let's find the right tool. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self respect. Get scared of birds. Uh I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. Uh I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. <laughs> I don't think oh, it's gonna work. Right. 
Sh sure, let's oh, try okay. it. Oh, okay. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. I don't want to head down there just yet. Okay. We can't do that. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Law. Bye, you fools. Oh, so the scrolls just come back. You go this way? I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Wonder if we have to talk to them. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> First got power, activate. A boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. <laughs> All right. Rachel smells like Jasmine. Is she smelling me right now, too? really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. Oh See? my god. You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Hmm. What's going on with these two? If you want lunch, you're going to have to learn how to skin your own food like a man. But I don't know how to skin a bald eagle, Dad. <laughs> you don't? What the hell are they <laughs> teaching you in school? Wow, that was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. The other thing was that I fell like, way darker. Maybe I was wrong. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? I hope bees don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. <laughs> <laughs> See what other 
things are going on. Oh. All right. Let's see. After this, want to come home and listen to my Spotify playlist? Is it the kind of listening where you have to get under the covers to really appreciate the music? Yes, and clothes really mess with the acoustics, so. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. What? I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. Huh. How gracious of you. What, what, what did just happen? They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> Uh, oh my god! Okay. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. Is it gonna be that easy? Oh, thank god. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Aw, uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. What? It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side uh, of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> <to stand. laughs> uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready <laughs> to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? <gasps> keys? Oh my God. You're right. You want to leave again? Keep on leaving and then... Hey, I'm leaving. Hey, wow, I'm all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh, I 
guess I am. <laughs> that was so stupid. Here, you earn this. Thanks. <laughs> could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? It's so weird without music. Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've heard that actors are moody, but... Wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. <laughs> not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Then Fuck! <laughs> uh, okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. Damn. But seriously? Fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? 
because because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? You know, like, a friendship. But more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Damn. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Uh. Because I can't. I know oh. it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Oh my god. Goodbye, Chloe. Man. We... I really wanted her to say something after that. I didn't want to just say a friendship. We all know... Eventually, they... It was like something more. Fuck. This. Place. Damn. You know she's fake. Y you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. Yeah! I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You take a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Uh. Fuck cameras. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Wow. Oh, is that his car? Right in front of her? Is that like his car from like the past? Damn it! I 
hits damage from the accident on top of it. Chloe, this is a heartbreaking story. It sucks because this is like before everything happened. Yeah. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. What the hell is going on? I don't feel drunk. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Where's my marker? Oh, there it is. A truth. Dad used to hate it when I wrote on shit. Sleep is for the weak. I guess I did that? Sometimes people need you though. even when they don't admit it. Even when they don't want it. What the hell? Rachel! Oh. 
Well, that was the end of the episode 10, 1, right? I don't know. Never mind. That was a big... That would have been a big interesting ended, but... I feel like Eric would be a crazy... Part 10 episode. So they always end off with a cliffhanger, and then you're just like, what the fuck? But it's only episode one, so I don't know. Episode one. But it is a short game. So it's a, like, I would only be already 33% for the game. If this is the end of episode one, that would be an interesting climatic situation of her just walking away, walking on the train tracks. It's like, this is how it ends. They keep on scaring me like that, like, it's the end of the episode, but it really isn't. Well, it's not like they're scaring me, but like, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. That dream sequence was not long enough for it to be the section. Usually sections take like 10 to 15 minutes. You came. I'm glad. Are you sure about that? I got kind of a different message this afternoon. Yeah. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with... That woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. Alright. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... Oh, uh, so that's why she wanted a drink. I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. And... I love him. And... I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I <clears throat> wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. Forgot that he was... It's silly, but... <laughs> I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was ten, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad... He carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat, and how calm he was, and the sound of his voice, and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe.
We trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Don't... Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it <laughs> that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. <laughs> I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan, you got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty uh -huh. sweet, actually. <laughs> See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I uh, came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Well... I wonder what's gonna... Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. We probably gotta go. Powers like an axe. He was screaming, and there was like wind. I don't think she has power. I think that was just the dramatic effect. But like, what else would it be?
Oh shit. We're seeing like a wildfire in the and everyone there should be music right here, but like it's just plain nothingness, which is kind of upsetting, but that's how we have to roll with it. We have to talk over this part. Um it's kind of interesting cuz Nathan in this game is not a bully. Um could be interesting. Could be interesting um episode. Episode. Like everyone is like Who's that? Is that someone we're gonna get to meet in the next episode? I don't remember the cops. Either. That was something different. Oh god. This is gonna be interesting. See what, let's see what the next episode's like. Why did it sound like? Why did it sound like there was no video? What's it going? Like there was no um sound for that part. Like I didn't get any dialogue for that. Huh. Odd. Yeah, where where's the dialogue? It 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 just it just left the I don't want to finish this. Oh well. That was weird. Alright, well episode two will will continue it. Um, in the next part, I'm probably gonna end this right as soon as we get inside of the game, even though, know. yeah, I'm just gonna end it right now. Alright, um, so please like, comment, subscribe, I know that was weird, I would have started episode 2, but, um, the way that, um, uh, it wasn't giving me dialogue for some apparent reason, I don't know what it was, I, I thought it was because there was no music in that scene, and it was definitely that was the reason, but also only now it's like I don't hear anything dialogue wise, so I don't know if it's in the settings. See, ooh, this is different. This is a different setting. All right, we'll we'll continue this in the next episode. See you guys in the next one. Bye, guys, girl.